here's John John Venice off ramp heading to UCLA the dorms the distant dorms so uh, here we go now we'll, we'll hook a right here on Sawtell and see how it's looking it's a lot of debris etc I thought it was pretty interesting in here there's a for sale sign or a lease sign right there and um, well, it's amazing how things change pretty fast because there was a for rent sign up there you can see it and then there was a building for sale and a couple other lease signs so that's interesting there's a for lease sign here now these are residential folks these are residential, and I thought, why are there so many residential leases? Are there bad neighbors or something? You know how when the bad neighbors move in, and I go, I don't really see any bad na neighbors around here. But there is some sort of a new complex that they just put up. So, this is interesting. So imagine this, okay? somebody walking to work or whatnot. Um, imagine this. This is a setup. Your daughter or son just got a full scholarship to UCLA. And uh, they're from Jolly, Kansas. They just got off the uh, airplane at LAX and now they're heading to their dorm. Which is, <coughs> UCLA has a lot of dorms in the Palms area of Los Angeles, which is south of Westwood, uh, east of Santa Monica, southeast of Santa Monica, southwest of the Palms, uh, sorry, of Westwood. So here you go. If you pan out there, that's Culver City area. And this is the Palms area. So we're going to take it up and see what it looks like, folks. Um, when I came through the uh, little area that we just passed the other day, it seemed like there were five or six signs for lease, and, and the one that you saw, just the, the post with, uh, without signage, I think that was for sale. So that's what drew my attention to why there were so many residential leases for sale signs and as a lot of you <coughs> tubers have commented which I all appreciate and your comments are excellent that uh, you know that there's a lot of places for release and for sale that's a big complex but that can be a given that uh, yeah, have a for rent sign up someone's living room left on the street. That's been status quo for a long time now. People just, people just need to jump on the side of the road when they move. It used to be you'd always clean up your mess, but those days have been long gone for sure. Okay, so let's see what, what we have ahead here. We're up now. This is Palms. So straight ahead, all off to the right here. There's a ramen place. Huh. So Palms Ramen, what is that? Palms Ramen. This place never made it. I mean, that looks like that was an old smart file or something. I don't know, but whatever it is, it's a goner. Okay, so let's see what's happening. See, there's for lease, residential for lease. These would be all uh, students. Look at this, for lease, see? Okay, this is prime real estate, folks. And for lease. Right, well, let's see, and again, this is all residential, Palms District. Um, that facilitates and caters to a lot of the UCLA students. All of this over here. It's all UCLA housing. housing. What's happening 
there. And again, I don't know if it's because, okay, obviously the universities were shut down. They don't want to teach anymore. Not in California, anyways. It's for lease. Maybe your students or your children are from Jolly, Kansas are better going to University of Alabama. There's a big for lease. Again, I don't know if it was because we were bad neighbors that were moving into the area for lease. All for lease, National. National Boulevard, okay, for lease. This is Sepulveda. And again, well, let's see if there's any neighbors that people might not like that are in the neighborhood. I don't know. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Let's see. Plane coming into Santa Monica Airport. Private jet. Okay. Well, looks pretty good in here. Although, invasion of the motorhomes is coming up here. Yeah. Uh, okay. I would say he's hanging. Maybe there might be some flowers and candy in there, huh? What do you guys think? Maybe those buckets have flour and candy in them. There's somebody over here with a nice BMW. Beautiful. Look at that. Charging his Beamer i3. Go figure. So maybe that's why. Some bad neighbors have moved in or, or they just don't like the new development not necessarily bad neighbors but they just they don't like the new development so a few leases some mattresses and again Sepulveda Palms District so that's boarded up but that's still working on that that makes sense so let's see what's happening let's keep it going John John keep it going stay with me we'll take it up a little bit further okay stay with me thank you all the YouTubers and I promise I'll be coming out with a appreciation video. I need to print out all the uh, subscribers and, and commenters. And so look at this big complex here. And uh, things are changing for sure. All over LA. And I just don't see how the revenues are going to be coming in, pouring in. I don't see how that's going to happen. But let, let's hope for the best. Okay. So Pulvita Boulevard North, and here's Pico Boulevard. So I'm going to take Pico Boulevard, okay, and it's for lease. And this is uh, fairly desolate. Even though it is early in the morning, for a lot of you that comment, and the reason why I shoot that is so I don't get glare. I don't want to give you guys burn, and I'm trying to... Uh, circumvent any noise so military okay in pico a lot of you will know where this is this is in a great area to say the least the meter's all his or hers keep it going john john keep it going is there, empty for lease, for lease, empty for lease, this is all, this will all be completely gobbled up real estate, it's not looking too bad, I can't go left there, so what I'm going to do is, I'll turn around at Westwood Boulevard, I'll flip you here, it's the Guitar Center, Right there, this guy wants it to bring us. I know he's got I have him right away. Thank you very much. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Stay with me. What I'll do is I'll bring us up some of the leases. Coming soon for lease. For lease. Okay. John John doesn't want to fib. John John loves the truth. take it adjacent on the uh, San Diego Freeway. Now this would be opposite of the Japanese District. Okay, this would be opposite. 
And what I'll do is I'll head up that street. I can't remember what it is. Cobalt. There's a little whiff. He's getting a little whiff for the road. I don't know why he would jump out and whiff on somebody's fate. Uh, to me, maybe it's uh, some sort of a... Adventure 16 has been toast. I thought Adventure 16 gear and clothing, I thought that was a good thing. I guess not. Oh, let's see. Cotner. Motorsports chewed up, boarded up. Cotner runs just east, parallel with the San Diego Freeway. Here we go. Stay with me. Just a little bit longer, folks. We'll head out. Persian Square off-ramp. Now that's obviously from the San Diego Freeway aspect of it. Now these folks have been here for a while, I would say. What do you think? So that's, you know, the vastness. When people comment, I don't think a lot of you folks know the vastness, the widespread camps are astonishing. That's what's astonishing. I mean, we're talking 15 square miles more than that from the San Fernando Valley up look at this it's just so fast I mean this isn't one little area like the Bronx or South Central or Skid Row I mean this is this is West LA here there's there's, there's high rise like downtown yeah but this is this is high end high end area folks stay with me Thank you. Stay with me. All right, here we go. I believe this is where uh, one of the consumer gut grills and everything. I mean, these are fire hazards, but we already know that. guy's got it going right here. He's got a basketball court. He may be an ex-basketball player. And, um, yeah, this is it. Okay, so he's Pink Floyd. That might be one of the band members. Or he plays, um, he does covers for, uh, the bands. Pink Floyd. There we go. Well, I'm going to take it all the way up right to the off-ramp. Okay, so here you go. John John reporting from the UCLA dorm district to Santa Monica Boulevard. John John, thank you for watching.